You're valuable, Shepard. I could have sold you and lived like a king. But you're too much trouble. At least I can recapture Jack. Not happening. You're a two-bit slave trader and I don't have time for it. I do the hard things civil governments are unwilling to. This is for the good of the galaxy. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Mass Effect 2. In the last episode, we came here to the prison ship Purgatory in order to buy Jack, Prisoner Zero, Subject Zero even, um, a very powerful biotic. We were betrayed by the very currently angry Warden Kuril, but we we escaped and we started off a bit of a, a bit of a, the old prison riot. This episode, we're going to be continuing to fight our way through the Wyatt, Wyatt riots. As you can see, we are currently ooh, overload specialist. We are currently technically fighting the Warden because his shield strength is in the bottom right. He's activated the kind of security mechanisms, which he did show off to us last episode. Nice bit, of, nice bit of foreshadowing there. And you've got these three transmitter towers, which are projecting the shield. He is invulnerable, one behind that. Fortunately, oh, I was going to say they die in one hit, but you have to actually fucking hit them for that to work, don't you? There is one over there. Which, can I just about hit that? Nope, gotta hit the central shaft of it. This will put them down. I said I was gonna stop taking the piss out of um, time dilation vocals, but I didn't. Whee! I love these little bits of cover that spring up when you get near them. Oh my god, I am not doing good this episode. At least at the old the old aiming. Uh, Miranda, can you overload that for me? Thank you. Overload and well, any destructive powers are very effective against these shields as well. Um, enemies here will just spawn infinitely until you take out the Warden. Just as a warning. Can I hit that from there? Does that count? Nope. Gotta get a better angle on it. Oh, of course I have. Right, see if we can take out this guy's shields, Miranda. That's a no on that, but I can. <laughs> I think my, my sniper rifle is penetrating better through shields than it technically should because I've got the disruptor ammo on it, which is well handy. Can you burn him, Warden? Oh, what a shot. Wonderful. The Warden is up there, and he does shoot down on us occasionally, which can be problematic. But right now, I should be able to take his shields out. Brilliant. So, he's up there now, and he's vulnerable. He's got a full three layers of defense. He's got shield, he's got armor, and he's got uh, health. But he should be relatively straightforward to take out. Let's make myself invisible and take a really... Oh, that was a meaty shot, and that took out most of his armor in one. Now he's just down to health. Brilliant. Let's finish him. Up, oh, up, oh, that, that, fap. Ah, sometimes the cover system goes a bit jakey. Bug here! Oh, I'm not in a good way. Warp him, and I'm going to turn invisible, actually, because I'm I'm real exposed out here. That was the problem. There's this commander down there who's also got full armor. Um, let's take a good shot. Oh, balls! I did that stupid thing again, um, where I'm cloaked but haven't reloaded my weapon. Oh, I shot him in the bomb while he was faulting over. That was hilarious. Burn him, Morden. Or don't, you know. <laughs> It's really more of an advice than advisory than a request, really, don't worry. Um, oh, fuck it, let's just kill him. <laughs> oh, someone shoot me hard. Oh, well, doesn't matter. Once you kill Goril. What the hell do you want? I just saved your ass. He was already dead. He just didn't know it. Now, what the hell do you want? You're in a bad situation, and I'm gonna get you out of here. Shit, you sound like a pussy. I'm not going anywhere with you. You're Cerberus. I'm working with Cerberus for now because they can help me. With them? For them? I don't care. You show up in a Cerberus frigate to take me away somewhere? You think I'm stupid? The ship is going down in flames. We can get you to safety, and we're asking for your help. We could just knock her out and take her. I'd like to see you try. We're not going to attack her. Good move. Look, you want me to come with you? Make it worth my while. Join my team and I'll do what I can for you. Don't make promises you can't keep. I bet your ship's got lots of Cerberus databases. I want to look at those files, see what Cerberus has got on me. You want me on your team? Let me go through those databases. I'll give you full access. Shepard, you're not authorized to do that. 
Oh, it upsets the cheerleader. Even better. You better be straight up with me. So why the hell are we standing here? Move out. And that concludes Dossier the Convict. Yeah, you can fight as many um, Blue Suns people as you want during that scene, but once you kill the Warden, that's what ends it. So sometimes you can speed it up by doing that. You can also there, you can bluff to Jack. You can basically say, sure, I'll give you the files. And then if you chose the bluff option, you then have a better, you have a chance to not follow through with it later. That can have annoying repercussions later in the game, as in it makes it much harder to earn Jack's loyalty. Um, I'll talk about that more as it becomes relevant. I've gone like two episodes without saying that, but I said it there. Welcome to the Normandy, Jack. I'm Miranda, Shepard's second in command. On this ship, we follow orders. Tell the Cerberus cheerleader to back off, Shepard. I'm here because of our deal. Miranda will let you into the system. Let me know what you find. Hear that, precious? We're going to be friends. You, me, and every embarrassing little secret. I'll be reading down in the hold, or somewhere near the bottom. I don't like a lot of through traffic. Keep your people off me. Better that way. So we've mildly pissed off Cerberus and or Miranda. Um, but I'm kind of okay with that to a fair extent, because it kind of reminds us that we're not working for Cerberus, we're working with them. And having the team is more important than any Cerberus' own integrity. I'm going to research the damage protection that we got from that last miss mission, which gives us 10% bonus to shields, barrier, and armor. Very nice for some palladium. We've got a lot of palladium. 32,000. Technically off the charts if we're on the scanner. So that's very nice. Um, Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Wonderful. Um, what does it say? Oh, it's a message from our mother. Um... From mom. Mom. Sorry, American. So I have to find out my child is alive third hand from the Alliance Brass? Where the hell have you been? I figure whatever you're doing is classified, likely part of your Spectre operations. Just stay safe out there and keep doing your mum proud. And sneak something through a secure channel next time. Love, your mother, Captain Hannah. Little little side thing, I guess. Um, Now, Jack. Firstly, she's right down in engineering. And yeah, she's a, as you'll probably notice by now, a hell of a character. The more we go into her and... Oh, that sounds really grim. The more we go into her backstory and stuff like that as the game goes on, she gets a lot more interesting. And she is a very powerful biotic character. Um, but for now, we will find her. As she said, she's just like somewhere which doesn't have a lot of through traffic. She's right down in the bottom of the hold under a flight of stairs. There she is. Let's talk to her. Hey. Tell me about you, Jack. I'm still finding out about me. Thanks for letting me look at these files. What's in them? Your friends at Cerberus are into some nasty things. I'm gonna find something I can use. I just know it. What if the answers aren't what you expect? I'm not looking for answers. I'm looking for names, dates, places. What happens when you find what you're looking for? I go hunting. Anyone who's screwed with me pays. Their associates pay. Their friends pay. The galaxy is going to be a lot emptier when I'm done. What's your history with Cerberus? They raised me in a research facility. I escaped when I was a kid. Been on the run ever since. And they've been chasing me ever since. But soon, I'm going to chase them. You think about this a lot, don't you? I go to sleep with this. I wake up with it. Everyone I kill, I pretend it's the ones that did this to me. You don't have to live in this pit, you know. It's dark, quiet, and hard to find. That spells safety to me. You know, this ship is a powerhouse. You could go pirate. Live like a queen. I could help. We have to stop the collectors. I don't have time for piracy. When this is done, we'll either be dead or out here in space with this ship. Think about it. Lots of creds. Freedom to go wherever you want. And all the mayhem and fighting I could want. What is it about killing that fascinates you so much? I figure every time someone dies and it's not me, my chances of survival go up. Sim. I should go. 
Yep. So yeah, as I say, she, she ain't exactly warm, but she's interesting. We're going to finish off this episode with one little side quest. Um, so, yeah. Um, at this point... How are people finding the series? Drop me a comment if you want. Um, so it'd be nice to get a little bit of feedback at this stage. Are you enjoying it? Are you not? Why? Why not? Am I going too fast? Too slow? Um, am I talking too much? Am I talking too little? Um, these are all possible concerns. If you're enjoying it, what are you enjoying? What aren't you? These, these all help me and feedback is always nice because it makes everything better for everyone. Um, that sounds a bit overly dramatic, but yeah, it'll just let me know if you're enjoying it because that helps shape the future product to be better for everyone. Now, we've done in the Hourglass Nebula for now, now we need to go to the Eagle Nebula. There's a mission here, there's a um, dossier mission, which is dossier the Krogan. Um, much as I love Krogans, we are not doing that quite yet. In fact, we need to leave the system immediately and head right up north. North? Does north make sense in space? No. Space directions really confuse me, because not only is it like completely 3D, we don't have a reference point. I guess you've got to reference the center of the galaxy. Um, but then what if you're moving between galaxies? Very hard to tell. Anyway, um, we need to go to this planet here. This is the planet Neath. Cold and dry? Neath or Nyeth? Neath. Eh, uh, Nyeth. This whole system is named after Egyptian stuff, because uh, it's the Amun system, as in the, the ram-headed goddess, protector of Thebes. Um, so it's probably, probably Nyeth or something if it's Egyptian sounding. Cold and dry, Neath has a thin nitrogen atmosphere and vast salt flats at its equator, which is warm enough for liquid water and to pool during the summer period. The revealed salt is collected and sold to sodium poor planets for agricultural purposes. During the Anhur rebellions, not sure what those are, Neath was a staging ground for eclipse ships and was the site of their first defeat, when enemy Naheset surprised and routed them with superior force. Some wreckage from the battle can still be found on the planet today. Let's start our scanner. As ever, it's rich, so I'm going to deplete it first and then we'll do the anomaly. Alright, so let's investigate the anomaly. Server scans indicate wreckage of a merchant freighter, configuration unknown. Damage to ship catastrophic, detecting movement but no signs of organic life. That's encouraging, let's land. So, we will take Miranda and our new friend Jack. So, I've got some sword points myself, so I'm going to level up my AI hacking a little bit to give me a little bit longer. Faster re so oh, the recharge time doesn't actually change at all, um, but it now lasts longer from 7 seconds from 5 seconds, and also gives any AI that we hack a shield while it's being hacked to make it more effective against its allies. That shield then goes once the hack runs out. Uh, Miranda, uh, not much to do here. Um, I guess we'll give her Officer 2. Actually, I want to see if we can get a better overload, I think. Um, Jack. Jack is biotic. So she has a fair few um, powers. Shockwave and pull, and then her own class power. So Shockwave will bring all the way up to three. We'll bring pull up to two. And we'll give her one in subject zero, which just makes her, as with all class ranks, better at everything. Then, so weapons-wise, Jack is quite an interesting one. She comes with a pistol and a shotgun, which is nice. They've kind of changed it on this, so just pure biotic characters aren't just pistols all the time, so it's quite nice that she's got the shotgun. And I'm going to switch up my heavy weapon for the arc projector. Not only do I want to show off it, show it off because I love it, but also it is particularly good on this very specific mission. So, I just want to start by saying this is a really bloody cool planet, because pat it's got these, like, aurorae here, um, which aren't really in, in the planet's description at all. Um, I wonder if it's part of... So, we're in the Eagle Nebula at the moment, which is famous for... I'll put a photo up on screen. The so-called Pillars of Creation, I believe, are in the Eagle Nebula. Um, and so, I guess it may be part of the same phenomenon that scores in that. Unlikely, though. It seems a lot closer to hand. Um, let's read this system status report. Oh my god, there's a lot of things. Engineering, compromised. Navigation, critical. Sensors, critical. Nope, compromised. Life support, compromised. Shield status, normal. That's good at least. VI network, compromised. And communication status, compromised. 
Sounds like the ship was in a pretty rough state when it crashed. Because surprisingly, being in a rough state tends to cause ships to crash. And ships that crash don't tend to have been perfectly healthy. And indeed, it clearly clearly wasn't perfectly healthy because it's over there on fire. And once again, perfectly healthy ships aren't on fire. Pretty much by definition. Um, there is an evacuation order here. Well, they certainly were losing systems fast because we saw a nice rundown of all the systems they lost fast. There's some damaged mech parts over here from which we could salvage some credits, which is nice. And you will see slash hear that thing making a hell of a lot of noise up there. Um, there are various other things up here. There are some power cells, so heavy weapon ammo. That gives us 11 arcs in our arc projector. And then we have this signal transmitter, which is what lured us here. Let's deactivate it. Multiple hostiles powering up at your location. Recommend immediate extraction. Multiple hostiles. Wonderful. So, it's a very simple mission here. We just have to now fight our way back to the ship through a lot of mechs. So, disruptor ammo, which I have, is my friend here. I'm going to show off Jack. She's got two powers, she's got pull and shockwave. Pull we've seen already. Shockwave is wonderful. As you can see, a load of biotics go off, pow, 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 in a chain. Anything that's in that chain gets chucked away, as long as it's not got barrier, like, shield or barrier armor or anything like that. But yeah, against a load of unarmored foes, it's bloody effective. Oh god, I keep selecting the machine pistol by accident. Um, let's shockwave these guys as well. Oh, brilliant. And only only Jack, I believe, has access to Shockwave. It's it's a unique thing for her, and it's it's really very good. Um, oh, balls, they're coming from both sides. Right, time to show off the arc projector. So the arc projector is interesting. You have to point it, and then you charge it by holding the button, and then you let go, and it fires. Observe. Oh, that was a complete cock-up, because it died just as I got the shot off. Uh, let's hack that gun. As you see, now get shields for being hacked. Which is fairly handy. Um, can you overload that one, Miranda? Thank you very much. Let's try and actually use the ar Ow, arc projector successfully over here. Oh, that one's still alive. That's problematic. Um, hack it while I think about what to do. Um, once it's unhacked, I'm going to have Jack kill it. For now, you know it's on my side. And I can just actually keep it hacked, to be honest. That's quite nice. It's, it's work it works for me now. Oh, of course, because my hacking recharges faster than its duration, so I can just keep hacking it. No, or not. Okay, apparently it's become immune. Let's kill it. Ow! Oh, don't throw it into me, Jack, you great clown. Right, arc projector. Charge and fire. Observe. As you can see, you fire a bolt of lightning into the target you were targeting. It then ricochets from that target to any other nearby targets and does a hell of a lot of damage to shields and a lot of damage to synthetics. So it's really ideal on this mission. You can see it does most of the heavy mech shields in one and will still chain to anything else. Bloody good. Uh, someone's died. It's Miranda. So yeah, when you've got crowds of enemies, especially if they're synthetic, the uh, arc projector is amazing. And until we get a better heavy weapon, which may be some time away... I'm going to use the art projector as my standard one, because I think it's fucking brilliant. Um, let's hack this guy. Or not. There we go. Hacked! <laughs> now hopefully he'll take out that guy over there. Not that I'll make much of a difference, but hey, it means it buys me some precious time for us to attack him. There we go. Yeah, that's gonna blow up. Thanks for the advice, Jack. As you may have noticed on this, enemies, they just, they just keep on coming. Um, and I'm learning to use hotkeys for powers on this. Um, oh, bloody hell. I feel a bit bad for doing that. Hack them to, like, disable them and then just fucking leveling them. Um, there's... So, the sandstorm is currently picking up, so we'll try and get back to the shuttle, shuttle as soon as possible, but we're basically here already. Um, overload him, please, Miranda. Thank you. Well, I say him. It's a robot. It doesn't really have a gender, does it? Um, one more over there. Let's... Oh, I haven't got a disruptor on my pistol. How odd. Hacking. There we go. Oh, bugger. Right, let's let's quickly arc projector these guys out, because I can. And... Brrrzap! 
<laughs> oh, it's so good. Help. Oh, God. Oh, God. Trouble. Problem. Help. Pull him, Jack. Ooh. Wow. Boy, it went flying there. That was cool. Let's finish this up. So, back on the Normandy, as ever, we can get a little bit of closure on the assignment by going into our messages. And we get MSV Corsica. That's an island off uh, Italy. Last known docking coordinates. From ED. Information acquired. Location coordinates. Jarahee Station. Strabo System. Eagle Nebula. Data mining confirms last reported location of the merchant freighter MSV Corsica as a Jarahee Station in the Strabo System. Possibility exists that clues pertaining to the anomaly that caused the mass malfunction of mechs aboard Corsica can be found aboard Jarahee Station. Uh, Corsica, I presume, was the name of the ship that crashed on the last mission we were just on. That was never actually made closure on the mission, but yes. So, unlike the usual closure thing, this actually means we can... This, this leads on to another mission, so we get a little chain of missions. And indeed, that's what we'll be doing next episode. We also get... Untitled message from Error in Valisantine. Hello! Hey, Shep... Oh, did I say hello? It says hey. Hey, Shepard. I have to thank you for getting me up... For getting out of Purgatory. Sent a ship to round me up, but they didn't weapons check good enough. I'm gonna carve your name instead of mine into my next victim as thanks. Got anyone you need dead? Haha. <laughs> you did take a shot at me on the way I threw, though, so I have to kill you. You know how it goes. Dad taught me that if you let anyone hurt you, they get ideas, so make sure to send a message. Not like I'm sending now, though. See you around. The people who live here are coming back, and it's showtime. Look around for your name, and I'll make sure you find it before I find you. Billy. Well, that's a bit psychotic. I assume he was the prisoner we spoke to on Purgatory last episode. But yeah, we've got now, yeah, an abandoned research station, or just abandoned station, or whatever it's called. Um, and that's what we'll be doing next episode. We'll be finishing off a few more side quests before then moving on to our next dossier. Thank you very much, and good day.